Bonsoir from Biarritz. Um, we made it to our brother's house. We are here for wedding weekend. It's gonna be epic. So my brother and his husband, Jean-Francois, are actually already married. Um, we've probably talked about that, but they actually got married at the courthouse um, in mm, January, 2021, I think. It was the middle of COVID. Um, so they're already married technically but now that it's been a little bit it's safe to travel they are actually going to have the ceremony um and we were able to come over for it so um it's our family it's my jf's uh john francois family i think about 40 45 people total so not super big but the wedding is going to be at the hotel du palais of Biarritz. it's going to be beautiful um, for now, Shelby, Nicole, and I are staying at Ethan and John Montal's house. Oh, train. Hang on. <laughs> okay, train pass. Ethan did warn me that there was a train. This is my bedroom, and he said it's gonna be loud. It was, so <laughs> I'm gonna wake up to that, I assume, in the morning. Um, but anyways, Shelby, Nicole, and I are staying with Ethan and John Francois for two nights. Um, our parents are already at the hotel. Um, we're gonna stay here and then we're gonna go to the hotel in a couple of days when more of Jean-Francois' family comes in town and they're gonna stay here, so we'll swap out. But for now, we are at his house. It is gorgeous. I filmed some clips that we'll put in after this of his, hotel, of his house. Um, they bought this about six months ago. It is very old, but very beautiful. They have lots of plans for renovations um, on it, but for now, um, since they are just they recently moved in and they've been planning the wedding um they haven't had time to tackle renovations yet but that will be coming and i'm really excited to see what they do with the space it is really cool but anyways um i'm very excited to be in this part of france i've never been this south before um so we have lots of adventures planned this week um and we'll take you guys along <music> It is Wednesday, I think now. Wednesday. We're leaving Wednesday. Ethan's house Are we and going to go to Spain? we're going to Spain. Uh, he only lives like 45 minutes from Spain. So that's where we're going today. I think basically just to drink gin and tonics and, and eat. And yeah. eat. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah.
It's a literal. This one and that. They're the gate keys. The gate keys. After two nights of staying with Ethan and John Francois, we've changed locations and now we are all staying at the Hotel du Palais of Biarritz. This place is spectacular. It is the former, former palace of Napoleon III. Um, not that I know that much about French history, but this place is a palace right on the beach because Biarritz is a beach town. Um, and so we are and a palace on the beach in the south of France. It is pretty epic. Um, just checked into our room. Um, today is just a chill day. Uh, I think we're just going to relax, go to the pool, maybe the beach, maybe the spa. Um, it's early in the morning here, but oh no, it's actually almost one. <laughs> it's almost 1 p.m. Um, so we have the whole afternoon to just kind of relax. And then tonight we are going to dinner at um, Ethan and Jean-Francois own a restaurant here in Biarritz. So we're going to go have dinner at their restaurant, which I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, today, today's just a very chill day, but before we um, get into that, let me show you my room really quick before I unpack and make it a mess because it is spectacular. Okay, from the door, here's the beautiful bedroom, <laughs> television, that's pretty fancy. Um, this is gorgeous, love that painting. Um, I have a fireplace. I don't think it functions, but I do have one. On either side of the bed here are these um, cabinets. And I'm going to save the view for, for a moment. Um, come over here. These are more closets, bathroom. Let's see, we have a tub. Are these both showers? Oh no, toilet. Toilet. And then this must be shower over here. Oh, this way. Ah, ooh, rain shower. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's the bathroom. And let me go back and show you the epic view from my room. Ready, ready? Ah, ooh, look. 
There's the beach, there's the pool, some of the town of Biarritz. That's the gate right there where you, um, it's, they have somebody standing guard. You have to have a reservation to be able to come onto the property. It's beautiful. So the outdoor pool is usually closed right now. It's the end of October. However, um, the temperatures have been kind of unusually warm the past like two weeks. Um, so the pool has remained open. Looking ahead at the weather, I think it's gonna get pretty cold starting next week, um, just after this weekend while we're here. So we're gonna take advantage of it being um, open and I think we're gonna go to the pool. It is, yeah, it's 80 degrees right now. So it's unusually warm. I think typical for this time of year here is the 60s. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go enjoy the pool. Dad's been <laughs> waiting all morning for that. Maybe have a little lunch, um, maybe a cocktail, and just have a nice relaxing day after quite a bit of go, go, go for the last several days from all of our adventures in London and Paris and Spain. So, all right, I'll be in until. Bonjour from Biarritz. Um, I slept so good last night. I had my doors um, to my terrace open all night listening to the sound of the waves. It was so peaceful, so relaxing. Nature sound machine. Um, <laughs> anyways, I haven't been up too long. The sun rises really late here. It didn't rise until like 8.45. Um, so it like feels really weird to be up super early, but that's fine because I was actually up really late. Um, because, Today, sorry, those waves are really loud. Maybe I should come inside. Um, I was like, is there an airplane? No, it's just the waves. Uh, today is actually Shelby's birthday. And not only is it her birthday, it is her 30th birthday. And if you've been around here long enough, you know that birthdays usually involve some sort of sneaky plan, as Alex likes to put it. <laughs> so um, I did schlep decorations all the way from the States. They have been in my suitcase through all of these adventures and I am happy to get them out of my suitcase. Um, so the sneaky plan this morning is that we are all supposed to meet downstairs for breakfast in five minutes. Um, I'm going to have some sort of problem. I haven't figured out what my excuse is going to be yet and I'm going to be delayed down to breakfast. Um, I'm gonna sneak into Shelby's hotel room and decorate. I brought some banners, balloons, um, leave her little gifts. And then that way after breakfast, I think the plan, as long as everything goes according to what I think is gonna happen and we don't make it awkward, is we're gonna say, oh, let's go see each other's rooms because we haven't done that yet because we just got here yesterday. Um, and we'll follow her up to her room and see her reaction to um, the decorations. So that's the plan. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> um, so I need to go get ready, um, get up, gather all the stuff, and then um, 
breakfast birthday today is just kind of another um chill day not a lot of plans up until shelby's birthday dinner tonight um i think we're gonna go to lunch somewhere maybe walk around the city um and explore and um also the wedding is tomorrow so today the planner and stuff are starting to get some of the decor set up and ethan mentioned he might need a little bit of my help with some of that i think he ordered like over a hundred pumpkins um that he has to go pick up today and place around the ballroom so I don't know it sounds like that might be something that <laughs> I need to assist with um so yeah that's the that's today let's go um set up some birthday decorations Okay, didn't quite go as planned because the banners are too heavy. They weren't, by the time we get back from breakfast, they weren't still gonna be on the wall if I taped them. And this hotel's too fancy to push from things into the wall. Um, so we, we went with this, let me show you. We have a friend's theme, the one where Shelby turns 30, balloons, and these little streamers. And we have some down the hall too, so she'll see those when she walks in. Breakfast with the birthday girl. What a dork. I know, you said that the keys. other day, that's why I was like, I need you to take a key. <laughs> she never takes hotel keys because she loses them. Wow. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a picture with my little rooms. Hold up your sign. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant to put the... The 30 on it? Oh no, no, it goes like this. Balloons. Yeah, it goes the oh, one where I'll show you. Yeah. I mean, yes, okay, I'm gonna have two hands. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Operation birthday surprise was a success. Um, now we're gonna all finish getting ready and then I think we're gonna go walk around the city. I'm excited to go explore.
somewhere to have a drink. Did I you? Did you so yes, I did. Did you enjoy your pigeon for dinner? Huh? Did you enjoy your pigeon for dinner? The what for dinner? Pigeon. Yeah, I like pigeon. Did you eat the one that tried to attack me in London? Yes. Okay. And the one that ate my nuts. Okay, we're not having that conversation again. <laughs> started this mess. I did not. That was not me. Wedding tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Schleppy, did you have a good birthday? Did you have a good birthday? Your feet hurt? Yeah. <laughs> it's Ethan's wedding day. Again, for the second time. Um, I think I mentioned, but they're technically already married. This is just like a celebration with um, family and friends since the first time around. It was uh, COVID and they just got married at the courthouse. So um, I'm ready and just waiting on Shelby to come and zip up my dress in the back because I can't reach the zipper and then we are off to the ceremony. I will try to film as much as I can today, um, bits and pieces. So just quick schedule. Um, there's going to be a quick ceremony this morning and then a seated lunch, um, and then long break. And then tonight doing a, um, sit down dinner and, um, dancing. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, we're dressed and ready. I have to eat my lunch. Yes, we are dressed and ready. Look up. <laughs> I think down because that's the prettier staircase. Yeah. Because it gets wide. Now we are heading out for this evening's festivities, cocktail hour, dinner, dancing. Oh, I'm already exhausted and we haven't even started. <laughs> Sing. 
We gotta let the music play Cause life is still a mystery morning <laughs> that was a late night um, but I made the rookie mistake of forgetting to turn my alarm off so that woke me up at 7 this morning because I just have it set to go off every day um, and I tried to go back to sleep and I did snooze for a little bit but I was pretty up so um, I am gonna meet my dad downstairs for breakfast I think it's just him maybe mom Shelby just texted that she just woke up so she's not gonna be meeting us right now. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna have a little light breakfast because Ethan's doing an after a post-wedding brunch um, at 1 p.m. and it's nine and I need a little something <laughs> before one. So I'm gonna go get a little bite to eat and then I think this morning I just wanna like relax, chill, um, maybe walk around the town again a little bit. I uh, maybe pop into a few shops, we'll have brunch, just relax, and then tonight we have to come get packed up because we head um, back towards London tomorrow to start our journey home. The vacation is coming to a close. back and got ready decided to put a little bow in my hair and now we're gonna go um walk around Biarritz before brunch <laughs>
last night in Biarritz. And of course it is pouring. I'm um, so glad we didn't have plans to go out. <laughs> I just took a shower and um, I'm planning on eating some of the leftovers from brunch that I took back um, and are currently in my mini bar fridge for dinner tonight. Um, I am not sure what everybody else is doing, but I was just like, sorry. Um, I was just like, I just need to like shower. I have to like fully repack. Um, I shouldn't feel like doing anything. And I'm glad I said that because it is pouring and I would have been pissed <laughs> if I got caught in the rain. Um, so I still have a lot to get done tonight because we leave um, this hotel at like 6.45 tomorrow morning to catch a train back um, to Paris. And then we take a catch a different train from a different train station from uh, Paris to London. And we're in London tomorrow night. So tomorrow's gonna be a long travel day and I still have a lot, a lot to finish up tonight. Bags are packed. It's time to say goodbye to these beautiful flowers. Down my third shot of espresso this morning. <laughs> and head off to the train station. That is gonna be it from us this trip. We're technically here for two more days, but today is just a long travel day back up to London. And then tomorrow morning early, uh, we have an 8 a.m. flight back to the States. So we'll be on a plane all day. So nothing else exciting going to be happening here besides travel so it is time to say au revoir hope you enjoyed our uh trip it was fun to share with you guys and we will see you guys soon Just make sure you get the